their wives, their kids. They took everything, everything. So then one of the servants that was in the raid, that's what they call it when they go in and they take stuff when they're not supposed to. One of those servants um, got away. And he ran to Abram and said, Abram, Abram, guess what? These kings came in with their armies and they took everything out of the city of Sodom, including your nephew Lot and his wife and his kids and all of their possessions, took it all. Abram said, no problem, I got this. So he called all of his servants together and all of the people that were big enough to, and strong enough to fight, it was like 315. Which, when you're talking about an army, that's not a lot. But Abram had that many all by himself, so that is a lot for one person. And he said, God's with us, let's go. And he went down and attacked all those kings that had taken Lot and all the people from the cities and rescued all of the people, including his nephew Lot, all of their possessions, everything, got it all back. And so then, if you look over here, I made a little uh, picture-like thing for you to see. So Abram comes to the king of Sodom, and he says, Hey, I got your stuff back. Got it all back. And Sodom sa the king of Sodom says, I really appreciate that. That's awesome, but you know what? You can keep all the possessions. All I want is the people. Just let the people come home. And then you keep all of the stuff. And Abram said, no, I don't want any of your stuff. I don't want any of it. Because if I take your stuff, if I take all of these things that I won back for you, then you can go brag to everybody that you made me rich. But you didn't have anything to do with all the stuff I have. God gave it all to me. And I don't want you to be able to give credit to yourself when God did it. God gave me all of the things I have. And God gave me the strength with a couple of my friends to go and take back Lot and all of the possessions and all the people. So I'm not doing that. He said, you can give it to those other three guys who helped me out. That's fine. But one thing I got to do, because God, I know, God was the one in charge of all of this. I need to give to God his part. Now, God asked for the first tenth. It's called a tithe. So, he goes over to Melchizedek, who is a priest. And he says, here is one tenth of everything. One tenth, I'm giving it to you because you are God's representative. So, here is one tenth of everything that belongs to God. And because you're God's representative, like our pastors, when we go to church and they take up an offering... What we're doing is we're giving money to God, but the, uh, the pastor picks it up, basically, because he is God's representative, and he uses that money to go out and feed people, pay bills, to be honest, to take care of other people, and to do stuff like this so we can have kids' church and we can have services on Sunday. So that's what they do with all the money. But you know what? Of all that God gives us, he gives us all of this money in our houses and gives our parents jobs and uh, we get food and clothing and things to put on our tables and furniture, all of that stuff. God provides it for us and all he asks of everything he gives us is one out of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He asks for the first one. We give it to God. And then the other nine, he lets us keep to do with whatever we want. That's very generous of God when he gave it all to us to begin with. So... He asks for one, and we get to keep all the rest. God is really generous. Now, that's 
We do that out of obedience, which means just like your parents tell you to do something, you obey them, you do what they ask you to do. God asked us to do this, so we give him the one-tenth, the one piece, and we keep the nine. But sometimes, because we really love God and we really appreciate what he's done for us, we give him more. Like, I have only seven of these gold coins, but I want to give God two of them, and I'm only going to keep five three, four, five of them for myself to pay my bills and stuff because I love God so much because he's given me so much. He doesn't tell me I have to do that. I do this part because I love him. My tithe, that's what he expects. The one out of the ten, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He asks for the first one, and that's to show that we really love him and we're obedient to him and that we know he has given us everything and he's in charge of everything so we give him that first one and then we get to keep all the rest that's out of obedience the offering that's because we love him because we love God and we know he takes care of us so that's what Abram did Abram went to God's priest, Melchizedek, and said, Here, I'm going to give you that tenth, because I know you're going to use it for what God needs it used for, and I need to show that I love God and I'm obedient to what God wants, and then I will take the other nine to continue to, to take care of my family, to take care of my sheep and my servants, and, you know, just to be able to take care of things that we need to take care of in life and food but I love you God and I know that all of it comes from you so I'm going to be obedient and I'm going to give you the first one of every ten pieces of money or anything I get you get the first one and I get to keep the other nine because God do you love me that much and you're that generous isn't God a wonderful God so giving and loving I mean, this was way back in the Old Testament with Abram that Abram knew all the way back then how wonderful God was and that God wanted the first tenth just to show, I know how wonderful you are, God, and I love you, God, and I want to support your ministry by being obedient and giving you the first one, and I appreciate the fact that you let me keep the other nine. So... We call that tithe, and tithe literally means one-tenth. So if you're not in school yet, may not understand that. But just remember out of ten, which you may be able to count to ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, God gets one, and you get the other nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Isn't he a generous God? All right. Well, you guys, you come back and see me next week, and we'll tell you more about Abram because he had a really amazing life. Love you guys. Hope to see some of you at church tomorrow. Bye.